Alpha. Nerd. Entertainment. Not super easy, not easy, not normal, not hard, not super, not pro. Hyper. What's going on, guys? Welcome to my no death run. Should I say no game over run of OutRun for the Sega Genesis. Okay, so one of the first things I do want to point out is Hyper Mode is a cheat code that does make the car do slightly over 200 miles an hour when it regularly does 183. However, it is the hardest difficulty and it does have quite a bit of traffic. I honestly believe it has the same amount of traffic as Pro, which is the difficulty that is just below it. But I want to challenge myself and do it on the hardest difficulty and go the fastest. Also, people who go for the high score of this game, the only way to achieve it is on hyper mode. So anyone who goes for high scores uses the cheat code and it's accepted on both Twin Galaxies and Speedruns.com. So interesting thing about this is, is that I wanted to complete this entire game, its entirety, getting to all five checkpoints without getting game over. No easy task. I do love this game, so I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to give the quick GamePro Magazine review. Its graphics for, I believe, 1991 are not amazing, but it is a great port. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Its controls are perfect. They're superb. I get it if you're not very good at these games and it doesn't feel quite good, but the more you practice it, the better you get, and using those breaks, you'll discover that the controls are, in fact, a 5 out of 5. For me, the fun factor is a shining 5 out of 5, and the music is also a 4 out of 5, the sound. The sound effects are obviously lacking. You don't have an engine noise, something the Sega Genesis wasn't capable of doing well having music playing. You'll notice this in Road Rash and other games like Lotus A Sprint and any other games of these nature. Just something the Sega Genesis wasn't capable of doing for whatever God knows reasons. So I guess I could bring the sound down to a 4, but with its memorable music, memorable music, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Okay, so section 2, whether you go left or right, I find are the hardest checkpoints of oh. all those checkpoints you see up there in the top right corner. If I can provide some tips in this game, it's use your brakes, let off the gas when necessary. When you see those signs, maybe even take the time to brake going into those here, corners. Jeep. I just did something there that's a real pro tip, and I'll talk about that. If you hit your bumper into the back of a car, which can happen pretty often, instantly downshift. Instantly downshifting, and you got to do it quick, is because you get your RPMs up. You get your RPMs up, then you're able to control that speed, and then shift back up into high gear. Makes a lot of sense. I know you only have two gears, but it's still very practical with RPMs. And that is a key thing to do. If you don't downshift quick enough, you'll come to a complete standstill. I'd rather be stuck at 40 or 50 miles an hour than doing a standstill. It's a key Fucking move horrible. to succeed in this game, in your Ferrari 512 Testarossa. <laughs> Now, of course, this is a legendary classic by Yo Suzuki, the creator of the Shenmue games and Super Hang-On. I love the Shenmue games, but I think I love OutRun even more. The arcade version is even better for obvious reasons, but the Not Genesis bad. version is a... I'm going to call it a near-perfect port because it just does play so incredibly well. This checkpoint here is like almost, you could say, the bane of my existence. There are some really difficult checkpoints throughout this game, and doing it on Hyper is no joke. You go that much quicker, which makes it that much easier to crash and flip out and just tumble all over the place. Though technically you can't die in this game, you gotta think if you get game over and you do it while flipping and crashing, you could call that an essential death. Ah, uh, this game just really has a really special place in my heart, and I guess I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so as I come screeching up and bump into the back of a Volkswagen Beetle, let's talk about some of the cars that you fly by in your time racing in OutRun. You got a Volkswagen Beetle, you got a Camaro, you have a, I believe, a hot pink 5-liter Mustang. In front of us there is a Jeep Grand Cherokee. And of course, you got a big man, rig 18 oh man. wheel. BS after BS. I may be missing a car. I think there's also a Porsche 911 Carrera. A nightmare checkpoint, man. It is a nightmare checkpoint. And I did some clutch moves there. 
I spun out a couple of times, and again, if you are not instantly downshifting, you'll come to a complete standstill. So you got to have your reaction time quick to that downshift button to get those RPMs to pack a shift Check back into high. Too. Let's talk about the shifting. You got to shift at basically 100 miles an hour. You can get a good clean shift at 90. You can still get a decent shift at 110, but 100 is the sweet spot. Shift there, and it'll shift the cleanest and fastest. Aim for that time and yeah. try to control your speed. Going around corners, it's not so bad if you hit below 90 and keep it in high gear because the acceleration will pull it back up pretty quickly. But one of the frustrating things that happened to me there just a couple moments ago is that I was stuck in low that gear. I swear I hit the button, but Thank apparently God, not. I'm gonna do it anyways, though. One of my goals when trying to reach the checkpoint is, is when I reach a new checkpoint, if I can get the time back up to 72 or 74 seconds, you're in pretty good shape to move forward. Any less than that, and you're going to have a bad time. Nice All right, we just completed there. the first okay. checkpoint of five. Hardest one out of the way. Uh, the next two are going to be tough. But just doing it all in one thing is going to be really hard. Okay, going on to the next one now. Uh, don't really care about the score right now. Not a good score anyways. Get ready. Thanks, shop and drive. Shut up and drive would become the theme of this playthrough because I did want to focus on my drive and then I kind of wanted to leave it somewhat silent for commentary, Steve. Easier said than done, though, when you bump into some bushes, trees, or other cars, and you can't help but react to the bullshit that awaits you when playing this game. But with that being said, I do want to talk about the differences between this no-game-over run like and, say, going for the high scores. Now, as I looked up on speedruns.com, particular, the most popular one is Checkpoint A, getting from the start to the finish of Checkpoint A. I do it last in this playthrough. Now the reason it's most popular is because it's the easiest checkpoint to do. The most people who are participating over there do it on standard. Now going for a high score run, you have to do it on hyper. So let me talk about the cheat code hyper, which is necessary when going for a high score run of Outrun on the Sega Genesis. At the start of the game, when it's just flashing the title screen, press start. Then press the A button 11 times. Then press the B button 3 times. Then press the C button 8 times. Then you'll go into options menu and it will give you the hardest new difficulty, Hyper. And it'll also give you a car that does 215 miles an hour versus 185, maybe, maybe 186 max with standard. Now, I prefer Hyper and anyone who goes for high scores prefers Hyper because it is the way to do it. Um, but standard, both are accepted in both Twin Galaxies and Speedrun.com. They're just different categories. Um, now, obviously, you'll never achieve the high score on standard, but... Not great. You know, it is what it is. One of the things I was aiming to do with this playthrough is getting my practice up, getting my feet wet again, because I am rusty with this game. Two years ago, I set what is currently the second highest uploaded score in the world. There is another fella on speedrun.com that has me beat by about 6 million. I'm going to be setting out to break that record. I'm also going to be setting out to break the standard record of checkpoint A. That's going to be very hard. A man from France currently has a really, really good score of checkpoint A on standard mode, which is I prefer hyper, but I'm going to have to test myself on standard. Now, the thing on standard is the car goes slower, so handling the corners does become easier. But one of the perks of hyper is the car does accelerate quicker Come so you're on, able dude. to get back up to speed a little bit quicker it does make for a little bit more room with air but handling those corners in the traffic is brutal on hyper it's a double-edged sword and both have their pros and cons but that's going to be one tall order to break 440 and checkpoint a it really is going to be one tall order as far as hyper goes before this i posted a time of 439 
which is the second fastest run in the world with the second fastest, or sorry, second best high score in the world. And I've just gotten started. So I, I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to set out to do it because if there's one game I can do it, it's this game. So we're leaving Switzerland, as I like to okay. call it. It's that in-between checkpoint uh, as we race towards uh, <laughs> checkpoint great. A, B, C, D. We already completed E, and That's now we're aiming to complete checkpoint D. This section is a nightmare. And I, I, maybe it doesn't look the best, but uh, I, I kind of like the way the effects look and the graphics look. I tell you, brakes are your friend in this game for sure. And if I can give another tip, um, don't be discouraged if you have a bad section. Obviously, a terrible section can lead to that game over, and you know, well, that can happen quite easily. But if you have an average section, you can recover by having oh, another God, fast section. Now, if you do like two fast sections in a row, that means your third checkpoint, you're going to have more room for error in that third checkpoint because you performed so well in the previous checkpoints. So keep that in mind when playing that the time is almost controlled by you to some degree. The faster do you go in one checkpoint means the more time you earn when exiting and moving into the next checkpoint. So, obviously you're rewarded for driving fast. Drive fast a couple of times, get into a next Not checkpoint, bad. have a bad checkpoint, well, maybe you got room for that error. This is my favorite section, by the way, of all the sections in the game. I just love this awesome friggin' six-lane <laughs> highway. It does split up at one point. I love the color of the sky. I love the way the grass looks. I just love this section here. Here's some uh, Camaro right there I'm ripping on past. And another Z28 Camaro. I love it. This game rocks. Oh, is there the Blue Beetle? 18-wheeler. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. I, I love the variety of these cars. You rip by in your 512 Ferrari Testarossa. Oh, that's a Porsche 911 really Carrera like there. You can tell the way it has that hatchback look with the slight, the slight small spoiler. A lot of people say, you're in a Ferrari. Shouldn't you be whizzing past these cars? Yeah, we're good, though. Hey, let's talk about the cars we're again. Good. Camaro, fast. 5-liter Mustang, fast. Jeep Grand Cherokee, also fast. 911 Turbo, <coughs> for, oh, sorry, 911 Carrera Porsche, also fast. You ever seen an 18-wheeler going super fast down the highway? Those things move. And look, and I'm ripping past that Jeep Grand Cherokee. It doesn't stand a chance. And here's his bug. Bugs are peppy, <laughs> but it doesn't stand a chance when we get straight on the highway. Checkpoint Closer than I'd complete. like it to be, but I made it. Seven seconds to remain. Okay, so two checkpoints down. Like I said, when I finished the last one, I said the next three will be tough. <coughs> All right, cool. The two hardest ones down. Not bad, not bad. Two down. Okay, right, so gonna start off the same way, go one more to the left and work our way back to C. Let's just fire that off with a bunch of A's and we good. Okay, let's keep it going. Get ready. Shut up and drive. Shut up and drive is correct. This checkpoint gets really, really, really awesome at the end. So if you're still watching, watch this run as we work towards checkpoint C. The end of this is crazy, crazy close. I believe it's uh, the fourth and maybe even the fifth, but the end of the fourth is so close to a game over. I think I actually crossed the line with zero seconds. Um, and that's it. That, that, that would be the death. That would be the game over. It is the game over. You, you don't reach that line and boom, game over, start over. I have two checkpoints already complete. So as I race towards almost complete and a third to fail, there's like, ugh, try again. Rough stuff. Okay. I love the first section, by the way. The first section is great. It does have one section there that I spun out. In the truck in the chicane, RNG City because it was a fucking transport truck in the middle of the hardest turn. Bloody RNG in this game is a bitch. Let's talk about that RNG a little bit more because I do value the RNG in this game. Reason being that if all the cars were in the same place every run, you could start to memorize exactly where the cars are. It would just be really, it'd just be shit. 
You know, I, I like that the game mixes that up, and it should mix it up. Traffic is random in real life, and it should be random in a game as well, and it just makes it all that more exciting. However, when going for those high scores and going for those speed runs, you can get that lucky RNG, and you can get that unlucky RNG, where it does put a bunch of cars in the toughest turns, or next turn has no cars in those tough turns. But they have to shake it up. They have to mix that up. Section Otherwise, blows. it would just be way too repetitive. So each run is different every single time. Whether you take those same courses or not, where the traffic is, is always different. Now, of course, there's less traffic on easy and, you know, more on normal, more on pro, and even more on hyper. I heard some of you, when you watch these, you enjoy hearing me bitch and complain while I'm actually playing in the moment. And I gotta be honest, I find it pretty funny too, as I sit there attempting to create commentary over it. And all I can hear is myself in the background saying, Fuck traffic, cut me some slack. <laughs> this is pretty funny. I will say, the desert section is definitely the most forgiving section in the entire game because there is less signage and no trees or whatever at the side of the roads. But there are some really wicked tough turns to deal with though. But I don't really like it, it but I do like that it's easy. This section is a bloody nightmare and I accidentally have to do it twice. One of the hardest sections. Yes, this dark section with the sun setting. With all these trees just everywhere, this is a horrible section. And my very next run, which would be my second last run, I make a false turn here, a mistake turn here. I was able to correct it and get on course and get to the checkpoint B for my next run, but uh, no, I didn't want to do this one on. twice. I didn't want to even do this one you were doing once, but good I had there. to do this one once. Unfortunately, I even had to do it twice. I'm going to let the rest of this run play out because it does get really close here as I fuck up there and time gets limited and it gets really razor close. Just a quick recap. We have checkpoints E, D, and we're aiming for C to be complete here. So close. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. It's kind of out of your hands now. It's up to the car. Let's go, Testarossa. All right. Okay, so that wasn't super close. There was three seconds. So maybe it's at the end of this one. I crossed the finish line with zero seconds. That was bad enough with only three seconds remaining. Again, when you finish that line with very little time, that means you get less time going into the final section. But yeah, this is brutal at the end. So close to a oh, game over as I tried to complete checkpoint C. That's okay, it's okay. We've got 35 seconds, 34, 33, 32. Every final section is the shortest. Gives you a little bit of wiggle room at the end. Not going for a high score, not going for a speed run. Razor close, razor close, razor close. Come on, game, come on! Yes, zero seconds. Oh, ah, oh. keep it alive, keep it alive. I was like, I should have been. I'm like, end, end. It's like I knew it was over. Congratulations. Oh. -ho. I don't know if he'll get any closer than that in this uh, NDR no game over run. Good lord. Okay, so three down. Three hardest. 
Realistically, the next two should be easy in comparison. Especially the final one, A. Going for B next. It's, we all, the thing with the RNG in the track, though, can make things really, really, really hard. Okay, there we go. Let's continue this train. Train and driving. Uh, let's do splash wave. Get ready. Shut up and drive. Okay, I do want to talk about the final checkpoints in each section. There are five final checkpoints. All of those are shorter than every other one of those checkpoints. So that is a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel to know that when you get to that final checkpoint, it's not going to be as long as all the other ones you do run and race. I don't know if it's a distance thing. I can tell you that. I just know they are shorter. So that is something to look forward to. So if you're like, don't have much time going into the final section, just know that it's shorter than the rest. Eh, a little air, but overall clean. So as we complete checkpoint one once more, there are 15 checkpoints in this entire game. You don't get to do them all in one turn. You can only do five at a time in whatever order you want to do it. You can kind of zip all over as you work your way towards the end. But I do like that it provides 15 different locations for you to race in. And it just adds variety to the game. It adds replay value, replayability, whatever you want to call it. I still hate this checkpoint. Another thing I want to quickly mention, stage two. Whether it's left or right, as you start stage one, the easiest checkpoint in the game gives you the option to go left or right. Doesn't matter what stage two you go to, they are the hardest checkpoint in the entire game. And I think they do it to discourage you in the arcade. They let you play through an easy checkpoint, get your money's worth, and stage two hits, and it's like game over That's is happening. That's bullshit, dude. Look at all the traffic they put there. That RNG is so unforgiving, man. The death of anyone in what I'm trying to do right now and trying to accomplish this. Come on, you fucking cocksucker, eat a dick. I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna go out on some RNG bullshit traffic. I'm going out on RNG traffic. It's like, does it know what I'm trying to do right now? Yeah, I was really frustrated at that point, and for good reason, because like I'm going the easiest route right now, but the traffic was just unforgiving. They were just dropping cars and, you know, all kinds of crappy locations and just making it brutal. And I was just like, man, I don't want to get game over uh, running the easiest like checkpoint A and B. Getting to checkpoint A and checkpoint B are the easiest. And it's like, I've already done the hardest one, so to fail now would have just been so obnoxious. Fuck away from me, man. No, what am I doing? Okay, hold on. Oh, no. Wait. No, I can still do it. Okay, sweet. It has a brain. That was a brain fart of a turn, let me tell you. I was honestly kind of lucky because on top of doing the no game over run, I wanted to not repeat anything. So it's like I didn't want to get to the same goal twice. Sure, that wouldn't have resulted in a game over or a death, if you will. But I didn't want to extend the playthrough longer than it needed to be. It was awful. You know, if there's five goals, you want to get to each one of them, you know, individually and not repeat any of those. So... If I would have turned left at the ch stage previous, I would have screwed myself. I would have had no choice but to repeat one. And I, I would have just did the whole playthrough over. But I was like, I was lucky enough here that now after this section, I can hang a left and get back on course.
clutch. Clutch. That was a navigational error, but luckily I was able to correct it. Actually, probably quite good. Let's go. No more. There we go. Okay, sweet. Yeah, really. I uh, did that last one just good. Okay, so I did that a little weird. I did that a little weird. I made an incorrect turn, but I was able to correct it. So now the next turn for the final checkpoint will be all lefts. <laughs> uh, Testarossa's seen better days. Ferrari 512 Testarossa. Yeah, I should have went left there, then took a right, but whatever. I didn't want to repeat that one because the one I repeated was hard. And go figure, that was my fastest run of all of them too. Had me the most nervous and it was actually my best run. Okay, so all right, let's just do this. Let's do step on beat. Get ready. Shut up and drive. The sky flashes green, shift, 100 miles an hour. Though you Suzuki will never see this video, I want to thank him for creating the Outrun series and Shenmue and Super Hang On. He obviously had a lot of success in the arcades with Sega in the 80s, and Outrun is definitely my favorite. Now, I don't know if Outrun 2006 was the last Outrun game made that I recently picked up myself on PlayStation 2, and if it was, it's been way too many years since we've had an Outrun game. With PS5 out now and Xbox Series X, and hell, it'd be even sweet to have on the Nintendo Switch. I think it is time for a new OutRun game. It would just be fantastic, and uh, we really need to get that to happen, because this game is legendary, and it's a legendary port. The Master System has a pretty good port as well. Obviously, the Saturns is probably the best, because it's a near-perfect arcade port. In fact, I think the Saturn version is basically the arcade game brought home. Uh, oh, but for that. me, my favorite will always be this one because this is the one that I always got to have. I actually have very little experience with the arcade version and I probably wouldn't be that great at it. I'm sure I would probably be able to take the skills I have with this game and over there and it would translate pretty well, but I wouldn't be a master of it. I'd probably just be very good at it. Nice downshift, almost late, but I saved it. I just gotta drive smart and a little bit cautious, actually. Quick, not lightning fast. Not too shabby. Uh, not bad at all, actually. Not bad at all. Okay, so with three checkpoints remaining to beat the game, I'm going to thank you very much for watching. If you are still watching and listening to this, and you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And if you are, and if you're not, just smash the thumbs up, because... But yes, most of all, thank you for watching. I appreciate and value all of you guys and if you want to drop a comment get away feel free to do so thanks for watching and like i said this is some quick cautious smart driving i have to be right now i'm not going for records of this section shut up and drive
actually really annoyed that I touched bumper there. Yeah, two more to go. Did what I had to do. Rough corner. Okay, not bad. Is this it? Is this the home stretch? Home stretch, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Drive smart. Drive smart. Beauty. We got time for days. Nice downshift recovery. That a boy. Is that it, baby? No, nope, not yet. Oh, we're close. That's it. Let's go. There we go. No game over run. Essentially a no death run of outrun five checkpoints to the finishes no slip ups That's essentially should be the world's fastest speed run and let me tell you why on speedruns.com They have everyone just does the checkpoints. They'll just do a checkpoint B checkpoint C checkpoint But when you beat say ninja gaiden, you don't just beat the first level and do a speed run of level one, right? You beat the whole game to get the fastest time so why not without run I'm gonna bring that up with that website because to truly speed run this game you got to beat the whole goddamn game not just one checkpoint at a time and not split up either all in one playthrough let's go and there they are five of them across the board BAM BAM okay so let, let's get the, uh, the ending now here we go all worth it for that now that's a proper speed run of Outrun for Sega Genesis. Oh yeah, that feels good. That's long overdue. And uh, you know, honestly, I knew I had the capabilities to do it and I failed about five or six times. And it was starting to feel like this could take forever. And hell, one mistake, the RNG is really difficult to deal with because, and I appreciate the RNG in this game because they need to have random traffic. They can't just have cars in the same places all the time. But a huge part of the difficulty is, is that sometimes that RNG will throw a lot of traffic in a really hard corner. Sometimes you'll reach that same hard corner and there won't be any traffic there. And you're like, yes, that's awesome. So yes, when you're going for individual um, high scores and individual sections for speed runs you're going to hope on RNG and it only takes you know under 5 minutes to go for those high scores but I want to do something a little different to challenge myself in a different way with the no game over uh, because it's a whole other demon to, to complete that a lot of people don't even want to do the harder ones um on speedruns.com, the, the most popular one is checkpoint A. Like when you look at the people who participate, it's all checkpoint A because it's the easiest route. So therefore, it'll be the fastest route. And people pretty much duck all those harder ones. You can't duck the harder ones when going for a no death run, no game over run of this game. 
So let's get that prestigious beat screen. Let's do it. I do look forward to doing commentary for this. It will be a bit difficult at times because I did a good amount of chatting while playing, but I tried to remain silent for the races and only talk after I beat sections and a little bit of chatter at the start. Ah, uh, there he is acting all insecure because she mocks him in a lot of the victories. There he is flexing with his gold trophy, getting a kiss, feeling like the man. There we go. Now, technically, you can get four other beat screens. Um, I finished with A, so this would be A's beat screen after completing all five. If I would have completed all five and finished on, say, E, they would have been doing slightly different poses. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching my No Game Over run, essential No Death run of OutRun for the Sega Genesis, one of my all-time faves. And I'm sure my commentary, if you watch it and listen, I'll provide why I did this as practice. Because I'm practicing towards going for some uh, speedrun records and high score records. Because uh, this game rocks. Thanks for watching. I had to play that whole jingle out. Come on, that's a epic little jingle there and quite a rewarding little song after beating all of those fucking brutal races. Peace out. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and always retro game.